right, the sound did improve in the last video. And so what I am doing now is continuing a little bit. Uh, when I get going with this, there will be uh, a lot of videos being made, probably every day, short videos. Uh, mostly because once that's done, I'll be able to see what doesn't work and what does work with these videos. Okay, this is a template really quick. It's approximately the right size for doing thumbnails for videos, so I can bag this out really fast. The reason I'm going for this speed issue with these is uh, think of how long it takes to fill up your gas tank, okay? <clears throat> Everybody who drives uh, every few days, they need to pull into a gas station and they need to fill their gas tank. That takes anywhere from maybe five to ten minutes to do that, okay? Likewise, there are calls you need to make, things you need to do uh, during the week that basically, they take, they take about this long, okay? And that's what keeps these guys, like Exxon and the rest of them, solvent. That's... The, they make all their money off of billions of people uh, spending five or ten minutes every now and then um, doing something like filling a gas tank. So I would like in my schedule a difference operation. Uh, have it be so that really the average person does little more than about this. You know, maybe several times a week, once a week. And it offsets. It's actually, it creates that offset necessary in whatever we do as populations to become interesting on the level of preparing. Remember, this is about preparing for climate change. Okay, so that's our attempt. We'll, we'll come up with something clever for the thumbnail for this video. And then I'm covering bases. And once again, Oh, here, we'll just do this for fun. Uh, I will be, I had mentioned that the art that I'm doing in these videos is for sale, but for not for a lot of money. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, once upon a time I was living in the Catskills, and I had interesting times in the Catskills, and I was, I was doing art in a bookstore, and I would, I was doing, uh, sitting there doing art, and people would go, well, how much is that? Is that for sale? How much is that? And I said, well, um, it is uh, that's ten dollars or twenty dollars or whatever. And they go, well, I'll think about it, and uh, maybe I'll be back tomorrow or the next day. But you know, that's really good stuff you're doing there. Okay, great. So I realized this was silly. I wanted these people to walk away with the art. So what I did was, <laughs> I decided, well, it, it really doesn't, it's not to my benefit, but let's do it anyway. The next time somebody asked me, well, how much is that? I said, it's a dollar, right? And so I have this piece of art I'm sitting there, and they go, how much is that? Said, it's a dollar. Well, that kind of puts them in an odd spot, because basically, well, I liked it, and I asked, so, well, then, well, okay, I guess I'll buy it. Then they would give me a dollar. Well, I went from... <laughs> I actually went from selling art for a dollar, and two weeks later I was selling fifty to a hundred dollar pieces in that same little kind of community. So what I'm doing here is setting up kind of a oh what would we call it potential NFTs. Let's do the potential NFTs. I think potential NFTs is funny and actually appropriate for where we are. I mean, if you're spending your time worrying about cryptocurrency, the potential NFTs that we have, what amounts to, we're, on, we're basically in a planetary refugee situation due to unnecessary wars, and climate policies, and the rest of it. So let's, let's just do potential N F T. 
see. I'm, not, I'm trying not to have to use whiteout. Okay, potential NFT. And this will be one of the pieces of files. Up. Now, in a smart phone story, well, we can. Oh dear, you know, is my pen running out of pen shit? Excuse me, we want. We're running out of pen stuff. I had another pen. Here's another pen. Let's see if this pen has more. Oof, we need some oof. Well, we can. From now on. Okay. Potential NFC. This is almost gibberish, but not quite. <coughs> Okay, we have four characters in our story. We have a normal, I don't know what a normal talking, uh, we'll say normal, this is our normal phone, okay, normal, like I said, this is kind of silly, that's a cartoon talking phone, I don't know what a normal cartoon talking phone, what would represent that. Uh, we have a glitter phone. We have a normal phone. So, there's a character that's a guy, a character that's a girl, so we're going to assume we might as well, these are assumptions, uh, that this is the glitter phone. Okay. This is uh Big Biff, I don't know. He's a tablet. I'm just doing this for fun. I want to see if the audio will get better. I want to see if Bang uh, can get some. Uh, I need to get better at all these pieces. Yay! Oh, that's not the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to kind of go like this. And flip. This is flip the phone. Okay, flip tablet, glitter, normal, it's a little sparkly. Okay, all right. What do these phones do? They are basically. Um, maybe I should make another one of these really quick. I believe we're in an odd place now, where we are in literally. An architectural document, I guess, is one way to put it. We we are now living with the Internet of Things being the way that it is, right? We have mobile devices, and we have stationary devices, and we have ourselves, right? And uh, so this is kind of a kind of like a whiteboard, I suppose. This is kind of fun. Okay, so this is a whiteboard. We'll pretend these. This is a component whiteboard. Anyway. Um, this issue of what could be called, we'll call it the technical document. You have in language, you have action, you have word, you have the written word, and you have the spoken word. Okay, uh, and you have symbols. Well, what has happened with how these? guys talk to each other, and then how they might talk to the furniture, this, this is getting a little bit like, <laughs> literally we're going to have smart furniture, okay, uh, and so we have objects, mobile devices, and things like that, and what could be called... Uh, an issue of what could be called architecture. I'm, this is this is something I've been working on for a while. This is a shoji screen kind of approach to solar panels and heaters and things like that. But think architecture. Uh, mobile device. And uh, document. This is the thing that's important. 
We're in a document. Now, why did I bring that all up? Because in the world of how all these things communicate and how they get along, oddly enough, we're back to scheduling. Um, scheduling is, and when I Googled it, I found that it's, it's so closely related to computer programming that it's almost funny. Um, this is all happening on what could be called uh, a digital chronology because that's what the computer needs to have to keep the instructions straight. So scheduling is both a uh, issue of what we could call digital technology and at the same time scheduling is what makes our behavior function. So I guess what we'll do here in our thumbnail, this is still really raw, this is scattered all over the place, but we'll call it scheduling and device architecture community. How's that? Scheduling and device architecture community. And this is a nice sunny day. It's nice to have nice sunny days. So I'm going to put this video up. My hope is that it's less than 10 minutes. They have to be less than 10 minutes. Otherwise, our ambitions are uh, misplaced and we don't want to have misplaced ambitions. So there's some more potential NFTs. And a little bit more, uh, you have to admit, these are decent cartoons, right? I mean, uh, nobody draws a normal talking cartoon phone quite the way I do. <clears throat> so, let's see what happens. And we are at, oh, 1223. Too long.